Morning Nuggets. Okay, quick one today. I couldn't really think about what to talk about, so I thought I'd talk about the uh, pills I'm taking. So as I've mentioned before, I'm taking uh, Lomera and Topiramat, Topiramate, um, and uh, I've talked about my insomnia. And then I realized uh, last night, so the last two nights I've had insomnia, it's been pretty bad, and I've had insomnia all my life, as I've mentioned. But I've been on a run. As I get older, it's been getting better, right? It comes back occasionally. And then I got it about a week ago, right, for one night, and I just put it down to that happens to me. And then I got it two nights ago. I only slept for three hours, and I thought, okay, I put it down again to that happens to me. And then I got it again last night, and that doesn't normally happen to me. I had three hours sleep. And then the next night, last night, three hours sleep. And today, I'm fucking knackered. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I can't think. I'm, I'm exhausted. It's the pills. It's, it's the pills. I can feel it. Because the other thing that's happening at night is that I'm, um, I'm itching and I'm tingling. And it's, it's, I can't describe it. It's not really itching. I'm not like I'm scratching like crazy. It's like, a, it's like prickling. It's hard to describe. Um, and I almost, I feel like I've got sunburn. It doesn't hurt, but it's sensitive. I've got very sensitive skin. It feels like I'm about to get sunburn, if you know what I mean, like you've been in the sun all day and it's just sensitive. So I looked up the side effects for this depiramate and it says uh, sensitive skin and prickling and tingling. So uh, I'm off that. I'm stopping that. Uh, I emailed the doctor today to tell him. Uh, he probably won't be there. It's Saturday. Uh, but I said, I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, I'm going to keep taking the Fen Fen. It's not Fen Fen, but it's uh, Lomera. I wish I could remember the name. Ferme- Fentramol. Fentramen. I don't know why I can't remember that. Anyway, Lomera. Um, the other thing is, I don't know. On reflection, I don't know how well it's working. Because I take this... this to pyramate at night and I've been pushing it back because of uh, uh, you know feeling I don't want to feel too hyped up so I was taking it at 10 o'clock at night and then I'm like okay that's going to keep me up so I took it at nine o'clock and then I took it at eight o'clock and then took it at seven o'clock and basically what happens is that by the time I get it I'm now at seven or I was at seven o'clock by the time I get to about 11 o'clock my I eat at six o'clock And by the time, there's a lot of o'clocks here. By the time I get to about 10 o'clock, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. Um, uh, And then so I would go to bed, right? But I can't sleep. So I'm up till three in the morning. And at three in the morning, I haven't eaten for nine hours. And I'm awake and my stomach's growling and I'm ravenous and I'm really hungry and I can't sleep, not only because I have the insomnia, but also because now I'm really hungry. So the whole thing's a clusterfuck it's a mess right um and i'm very tired today so i'm probably not in the best frame of mind to make a decision but i think a decision that isn't affected by my frame of mind is that i'm not taking these anymore um so you know we gave it a go uh i'm going to keep trying the lamera we'll see what the doctor says um just got to go back to good old-fashioned willpower of which i have none um But I still believe the, uh, hopefully my sleep pattern can get back on and I can be asleep before midnight or at midnight, you know, some reasonable hour, start getting up at 6.30 in the morning. I mean, that just, I feel good when I have that day. When I'm in bed by midnight and up at six, that's enough sleep for me, more than enough sleep. And my day feels really solid. You know, I'm I'm ready. I can do things. If I can get back into that cycle, I think I can stop, I can finish eating at seven o'clock. You know, people can go five hours without eating. I'm not going to die. Fall asleep at 12, wake up at 6, do my morning, go out to the to the cafe, have some breakfast at 8 o'clock or about 8.30. And then I'm having a nice big fast overnight when my body gets to recover. That seems healthy and sensible to me. That's what I want to get into. And if I can work that, I can cut out the uh, La Mera as well. And then I'm not on pills. So, and I did weigh myself this morning. Uh, I've lost another half pound. I think, again, those scales are who knows. But um, uh, but it's all for shit, the way I feel today anyway. So, I don't know. 
Um, so that's my check-in for the day. Um, hopefully I'll feel a little bit better later in the day. I can make a video. I have some thoughts in my head. Just nothing is very clear right now. And um, that's just about it. All right, you little nuggets. You have a lovely day. All right.